This video is going to demonstrate what a transistor does in a circuit. Now the transistor that we're using is a NPN transistor, a power transistor. And over to the left I have three bias points. And we're going to start with the lowest, which is the dot .779 volts DC. We're going to start with connecting a wire from that point to the base of the NPN transistor. And I've got an ammeter in series with the NPN transistor and a voltmeter across the emitter and collector of the NPN transistor. When we get those readings from the ammeter and the voltmeter, then I'll connect the base to the next bias, which is .914. Then when we have collected that information, I'll connect it to the highest bias, which is 1.173 volts DC. Here's the build, and I've connected the base to the lowest bias. And the meter that's on the right is our voltage and the meter that is on the left is our amp meter. Now I've taken the reading and now I'm going to move up to the next bias. And notice that the bulb has gotten brighter. That means that the transistor's resistance has become less. Okay, now back to change the bias to the highest. And now the bulb is very bright. So that means that the transistor's resistance is even lower. And we're going to figure out what the resistance is on all three biases. Now I've let this run a while because the, what's going on here, the reason why the voltage is changing is because it's heating up the transistor. For those of you that are starting out in electronics, this is what a transistor does in a circuit. Now I have connected the lowest bias to the base of the transistor. And you can see that the bulb is glowing and that we have 106.7 milliamps and 10.36 volts on our meters. And if we use Ohm's law, R equals V divided by I, R is equal to 97.1 ohms. So the resistance from E to C is 97.1 ohms. Now I have put the bias on the center connection, the .914. And now you can see on the meters that the current has gone up to 169.5 milliamps. And our voltage has dropped to 5.44 volts. So that means that the resistance between E and C has had to decrease. And using Ohm's law, R equals V divided by I, R is now... 32.1 ohms. Now I'm going to connect the lead to the highest bias and we now have the highest current and the bulb is very bright now. We've got 217.9 milliamps and 262 millivolts. Very low volts across the E and C. So looking at Ohm's law R is now 1.2 ohms. That's the resistance between 
E and C. This is the first bias point with a transistor. And this is the resistor equivalent. All you'd have to do is plug in a 97.1 ohm resistor and you would have exactly the same thing. Of course, you wouldn't be able to change it. It would stay that way. Now here's the second bias point with a transistor. And here it is with the resistor in circuit. And our highest bias point with a transistor and now with a resistor of 1.2 ohms. So what we saw in this video was a transistor is a variable resistor and to change its resistance we change the bias at the base. Thanks for watching.